You know, when the going gets tough, it's comforting to own a vessel that's been built for extreme conditions. Harbourcraft of Vernon, BC manufactures a full range of premium all-welded aluminum boats that in their own words are race-inspired, quality built. Now this particular model, the Kingfisher 2525 Cruiser, well it doesn't look too racy, but it does incorporate technology that's been torture tested on the competitive jet boat circuit. Big water skippers and fishermen alike will appreciate its long list of features. Let's take a closer look. By flexing components and pre-bending their hulls in advance of the final welding procedures, Harbourcraft found they could reduce the amount of vibration commonly associated with aluminum boats. The process known as preflex not only makes the boat stronger, it serves to eliminate heat distortion and warping of the metal. A steel jig system is used to ensure the hull is properly formed, which ultimately translates into higher performance and efficiency as the boat glides through the water. Having tested this model previously with a Yamaha 300 horsepower HPDI, I was interested to see how well a four-stroke 200 horsepower outboard would perform. By eliminating 100 horsepower, our top speed was reduced by a mere three miles an hour, illustrating the power of Yamaha's new F200 TXR. The 2525 planes with minimal bow rise and starts cruising at an efficient speed of 23 miles an hour, turning 4,000 RPM. Taking 10.8 seconds to reach 30 miles an hour and 14.7 to hit 35, we recorded the top speed of 43 miles an hour after doing some mid-range to full throttle timing runs. Once on plane at 17 miles an hour, I throttled down to reach 35 miles an hour in slightly more than 10 seconds. Solid performance numbers all around. Because the Kingfisher is meant for very big water, Harbourcraft has installed this very luxurious seat, complete with a shock absorber to help absorb the impact of big waves. Harbourcraft's 2525 is a pleasure to drive when the seas build up. As hard as I tried to make it pound, the 18 degree variable dead rise bottom simply cut through big waves and cross wakes, absorbing impacts without transfer of energy to the boat's passengers. Whether used for cruising or fishing, the 2525 Kingfisher is a shelter for mariners, ancient or otherwise. Protection from the elements is only one part of this boat's charm. Decked out with stylish yet understated amenities, the Harbourcraft is quite serviceable. Zolotone, a durable, cleanable and spot repairable finish, has been applied to top deck and cabin surfaces. Inside we found a vinyl floor and carpeted sides, while outside the aft deck is self-bailing. The Weekender package includes a granite laminate dinette with plenty of storage and a convertible berth. It's not what I'd call lavish, but the decor has been warmed up and visually enhanced by finely finished wood cabinetry and comfortable seats. Practical features like grab bars affixed to the ceiling, a stand-up flush head with a 20-gallon holding tank, sink, fridge, and heater make the boat very livable. Being a deep water fishing vessel, Harbourcraft has thoughtfully built in a raw water washdown hose and locker into the cockpit floor with a macerator pump out. There is also a cleverly crafted fish storage compartment with a cutting board aft. Our test boat came with a Yamaha F8, an eight horsepower, four stroke portable kicker, and an aft cockpit helm. You know, with a boat like this, one almost looks forward to foul weather. And if you happen to live in a region where it's cold and rainy, well, this boat could be your answer. In any event, it will extend your boating season. Harbourcraft's Kingfisher is a serious player when it comes to function and performance too. And the company knows people place value on integrity, strength, and reliability. And as such, the 2525 is a solid boat built for a solid day of on-the-water activity. We'll see you next time.